The Department of Defense Manned Space Flight Support Office DDMS coordinated all United States Department of Defense DOD contingency support to United States NASA manned space flight programs. The office was deactivated in 2007 and replaced by a staff element that is part of the 45th Space Wing staff at Patrick Air Force Base, Florida. The commander of U.S. Strategic Command was the DOD manager for manned space flight support operations. The 45th Space Wing commander at Patrick AFB, Florida, was the deputy DOD manager. The DDMS officers and staff were located at Patrick and were responsible for the day-to-day -day operations and support to NASA's manned space flights. Additionally, DDMS maintained a landing support office at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. History Chartered in 1958 by the Secretary of Defense, DDMS was originally formed with the express purpose of providing much-needed DOD support to the U.S. initial manned spaceflight effort putting people into space and returning them safely to Earth. Since those early days, the support office has continued to be the focal point for all DOD contingency support to Project Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, Apollo, Soyuz Test Project and Space Shuttle. This support included astronaut and space capsule recovery, worldwide communications, tracking and data relay, public affairs, and medical support. Responsibilities In the current Space Shuttle program, DDMS had the responsibility for astronaut rescue and recovery, contingency landing site support, payload security, medical support, coordination of airlift, sealift for contingency operations, as well as other support services required in the event of a shuttle emergency. To carry out these responsibilities, DDMS receives and validates NASA requests for DOD support. The support office then selects assets best able to provide the required support, tasks selected units through appropriate command channels, and provides tactical control of those DOD forces supporting a specific Space Shuttle mission. <laughs> <laughs> assets In the Kennedy Space Center area, U.S. Air Force air refuelable HH-60 Pave Hawk helicopters, HC-130 tanker aircraft, pararescue and medical personnel, and U.S. Navy and Coast Guard ships are deployed to support launch contingencies and astronaut recovery. Additionally, the Navy provides a KC-130 tanker for helicopter air refueling, E-2C aircraft for enhanced air traffic control and P-3 Orion aircraft for search and rescue operations in the Mid-Atlantic region. To support the potential for a transoceanic abort landing NASA has selected four TAL sites in Spain and Africa. These sites are Moron and Zaragoza air bases in Spain, Ben Gurria Air Base, Morocco, and Yundam International Airport, Banjul, the Gambia. Three of these four TAL sites are activated for each shuttle launch. DDMS supports these TAL sites with C-12 or C-21 aircraft for on-scene weather reconnaissance and in-flight checks of Space Shuttle unique landing aids, C-130 aircraft with pararescue and medical support personnel, and DOD fire, crash, rescue equipment and personnel. Topic: Operations. DDMS operates the DOD Support Operations Center at Patrick, starting the day prior to a space shuttle launch and continuing through landing. Manned by DDMS staff officers, the Support Operations Center maintains 24-hour contact with those DOD forces and facilities around the world supporting each mission. The center is the DOD focal point for managing a contingency response in the event of a shuttle emergency landing or astronaut bailout. The center, for example, played a key role in providing support to NASA in response to the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster in 2003. Topic: <laughs> Responsibilities in orbit. While a shuttle is on orbit, designated DOD sites worldwide are ready to support a shuttle contingency landing. The center receives status reports from these locations during mission support periods. 
On landing day, the Support Operations Center coordinates the Dodd Fire, Crash, Rescue Support and Medevac helicopters at Kennedy Space Center, Edwards Air Force Base, Calif, and Holloman Air Force Base, NM. Topic: <laughs> Post-landing support. After landing at locations other than Kennedy Space Center, the shuttle is ferried back to Florida on a modified Boeing 747 shuttle carrier aircraft. DDMS coordinates a U.S. Air Force C-141 Pathfinder aircraft to transport NASA personnel and equipment supporting ferry flight operations. The office personnel fly with the NASA team on these ferry flights, providing specialized support en route at DOD installation stops. Due to the unique weather sensitivities of ferry flights, a dedicated weather support team is also assembled to monitor en route weather. This includes a DOD meteorologist to monitor weather conditions from the Cape Canaveral Forecast Facility in Florida, as well as a DOD meteorologist who travels with the ferry flight team, providing direct en route weather support. <laughs> 